What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Cold Water Aquatics Fishing Friday right here at the Cold Water Aquatics YouTube channel. My name is Brandon. Welcome to the show. Doing things a little different today. We're going to kick the members video off here momentarily. Like at the beginning of the show, but not exactly at the beginning of the show. If you know what I'm saying. I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking over here trying to find my members video right there. Go. Okay. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Now, here we go. We're going to run the members video, and we'll be right back. Get yourself some coffee, something to drink. Enjoy the show. I think you guys can hear me, too. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Fish food. Uh, what? No. FFL stats already? Can we dance already? We just started, brother. Fish Street Friday! That's right. Hope y'all are here. Have a good time. That's cool. Tell your friends, get everybody in here. Call your grandma, let her know, let her know what's up. Tell her to tune in, Cold Water Aquatics, YouTube channel. That's right. That's how we do it. What's going on, guys? Welcome once again to the Cold Water Aquatics Fish Room Friday live stream here on the YouTube. Appreciate you guys for coming by, hanging out. We got five viewers, five participants, zero likes. What the hell? Oh wait, no, we got ten. How we got ten likes? Zero participants? Is that what it says? What is? It? Whatever. Anyways, my name is Brandon. This is the fish room in the basement of my house. It says it's 64 degrees down here right now, but it feels like it's not quite that warm. I think what happens is I fire this computer up and everything, and it builds a little heat. It's the low 60s, uh, and none of these aquariums have any heaters in them. So all the all the water temperature, all these aquariums back here, these are all real aquariums. This is not a, a, th a 3D fake backdrop green screen. These are all real. I can touch them. And uh, they all they all run without heaters, all at room temperature, you know, susceptible to room temperature. So all these tanks are in the low 60s. And, uh, you know, I can't keep a lot of fish like a lot of people keep, but I don't want to keep those fish. I want to keep the fish that I keep. And the fish that I keep are North American native fish. Uh, I got a lot of small fish in this. Like there's a little darter right there. My finger would work right. Right there is a little darter. Uh, and the tank behind me, right here, sunfish. Oh, the pickerel's at the bottom. That's like, that's the pickerel right there, right there. Uh, over here, I got a pumpkin seed, a yellow perch, some shiners. I got, I got uh, another pumpkin seed and a bowfin over here. Uh, this tank right there, you can see him. That's Bocephus. He's a warm mouth. Got some rainbow shiners down here. I got, a, I got a whole list of stuff, so. And I do it without heaters. I run primarily sponge filters on everything. I have a Alita. Linear piston air pump that runs a little loop here above me and uh, you know one pump runs all my tanks basically and then just my lights. Uh, I like to do low tech setups uh, right here. I, I I just set this tank up like a week and a half ago. You can see the video maybe two, uh, yeah not even two weeks. I like to put an inch of dirt in the bottom and two inches of sand on top and then I live plant them. That's pretty much how I do most of all most of all my tanks. Uh, Caleb asked, did you catch the bowfin? I did not. No, I did not catch the bowfin. I ordered the bowfin from jonasaquarium.com about three years ago. He he comes across uh, baby bowfin in the spring because what happens is the parents spawn them out in the wild. And then if you've ever seen a, uh, a batch of baby bowfin, it's like a um, fry ball. It's like they're just all swarm each other and the parents kind of guard them. And um, people collect them. And then he ends up. He ends up being able to sell them in the spring. But, yeah, I, I got the bowfin from jonasaquarium.com about three years ago. 
But yeah, that's the deal. A lot of these fish I did catch in the in my aquarium. Uh, my daughter caught the pickerel. Uh, I've caught a lot of sun, a lot of these sunfish. We go out. We got a dip net, obviously back here. Perfect dip net. We go out catching the little guys, uh, darters, central mud minnows, all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's what I do, and I kind of mingle. I mingle my hobbies because I like to fish. I'm a fisherman. I like to spend time outdoors. My kids like we like to be outdoors as a family. And then I'm also a fish keeper, and I keep fish that are mostly in, you know, all my country, but mostly in my area. So sometimes we bring a little nature back home. So that's what we do. This is our weekly live stream. We come in here and hang out with you guys. Nine people here. Appreciate you for coming by. Talk some fish. Uh, tonight will be a short one because we do have to go to my daughter has a uh, concert sort of deal at the school. So we got to go do that, but... You know, we'll roll it out here for probably 40 minutes, 640 or so. So, how much longer, Coral? How much longer, brother? Scott, welcome. 3G, thank you for being here. Appreciate all you guys. That nature guy, what's up, yo? How you doing? Oh, you can hear me. Okay. I kind of figured you did. A fisher, uh, pickerel is cool. And oh, I thought, I see in my, my little, something was mixing these two together. I was, I was picking up that fish room is cool, but that pickerel is cool. Yes, it is. And fish room Friday in the house what's up dude just pop it in and say hello can't stay for the live got a dinner with the wife hey it sounds like a better time appreciate you man thank you for the support there is my wife she's my much better half right there aquatic nest guys make sure you check her out subscribe to her channel thank you for being here love something some some timing something wong what up what up something wrong what's up how you doing appreciate you for coming are you guys are you new here tonight let us know if you're new here first time to the stream we like to we like to know caleb i i feel like you may have been here but you almost also seem fairly new is this your first time here what's going on with you we're hanging out in the fish room i'll bring another camera up here shortly we'll do a little uh roll around the fish room if you want i got some uh some shrimp and stuff to feed back there so we can go see some of these guys up close uh, my fish tank is low temperature. That's good, man. Saving money. Saving money. Heaters? Heating tanks? If you ask me, that's a waste of money. Now, I understand people that have fish that need those heaters. I, I get that. But for me, I would just be wasting money down here. QC, thank you, brother, for dropping the links. AI fish tanks. Those aren't fish. They're, yeah. This is all This is all AI generated, guys. How do you know? How do you know it's not? <laughs> well, speaking of that, though, I did see StreamYard here had a uh, option when I was setting the stream up to uh, allow for AI to generate a thumbnail. So I thought, oh, okay, let's see what AI can come up with a thumbnail. And it said, Fish Room Friday. Oh, <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe it? I was like, that is so freaking cheesy. No thanks. I'll pick one of my old ones. <laughs> Coro's channel, check it out. I mean, why would you need a heater when they are native to cold climates? Exactly. Why would you? You wouldn't. You would not need a heater. Unless you were trying to do something like spawning maybe or trigger stuff. But, yeah. Scott's link. Check him out. QC dropping all you guys' links. That Nature Guy's link. Make sure you go there and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to Fish Fam link. Got that question. Dave, the fish dude's link. Yeah, he's slinging them. He's slinging them. There's Aquatic Ness's link. Something Wong's link. I like that. I, okay, I, I get that now. I get that name. Something Wong. Something Something Wong. It's kind of... <laughs> it's, it's cool. That's cool. I have a mix of sand and gravel from outside. Even better. Even better. That's awesome. Caleb's link. QC's link, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to Wonderful QC. He's the one that makes all these links happen. Super moderator. Lumpy Dog, what's up, brother? How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Have you bred any fish? I have. I have not bred any native fish. North, any have not bred any North American native fish, if that's what you're asking. But I have bred fish, yes. Uh, the most fish I've bred have been cichlids and... Um, in particular, cold water cichlids, which I have some over here. That's why I'm looking in this direction. But I have a, uh, I have a group of austral heroes and a group of uh, cichlosomas. Two, two actually different groups of cichlosomas. And I've probably bred, 
a few hundred of those guys in the last couple of years. That's probably been the majority of my breeding. Although I did breed some Plecos, but I got rid of all those guys. <laughs> and then uh, I've obviously bred uh, I bred a lot of Libraries. I bred Gadeids. I breed Gadeids currently. Um, guppies, platies, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, snails. Bred a lot of snails. Actually bred mystery snails. I had apple snails for a while. Those are crazy. Um, what else? What am I missing? Hmm. Can't think of anything else. I'm sure I bred some more stuff throughout the years, but uh, yeah, that's probably a majority of it. But I don't really, I'm not really, I'm absolutely, absolutely not focused on breeding, so... Um, some people, you know, some people, that's a big part of their hobby. Some people get a lot of enjoyment out of that. I think it's cool to watch fish spawn and have babies, but then once you have all those fish, what do you do with them? So, uh, I, I have set up enough tanks to where I'm happy. And if I start breeding more fish, then I got to set up more tanks. And it seems like when you're breeding fish, you always got to have a bunch of tanks going and coming. And I just don't, I'm more of a, uh, I'm more of a collector, I guess you would say. Uh, I'm definitely a hobbyist. I'm not doing this professional by any means. Uh, I enjoy making videos. I do that. I'm, I'm going to try to do better at that. But I don't see myself breeding any fish really in the future. Large goals. Um, I just like collecting, catching, collecting, um, bringing fish home, enjoying them, feeding them, interacting with them, stuff like that. So... That's kind of my deal. Lumpy Dogs Link, you started early. I did. I was going to start like 10 or 15 minutes early, but <laughs> yeah. If anybody uh, if anybody on here, which I'm sure there's somebody here in the chat that has streamed a number of times, you always know like, oh yeah, I'm going to stream at 6 o'clock. So you think most people that don't stream probably think, oh yeah, he probably just goes down there at 5.55 and jumps on and streams. Oh no. You're, you're always out of time. You're always behind the gun. So I try to get stuff set up, and then I'm still, like, always down to the last minute. So, yeah, I tried starting early, but not as early as I wanted to. Something Wong, I have a, I have a bunch of just normal shiners that I caught, and I love them. They always go through my leaf litter. That's awesome. Very awesome. Got leaf litter, too. I want to do one of those. I want to do uh, Coral. Coral Works has been inspiring me, and we've been talking about it, and he's probably wondering, Brandon, why the hell haven't you done it yet? But I want to take a tank and set it up with a lot of leaf litter, and then I want to seed it with a whole bunch of scuds, like big old scuds that I catch at the river. I can catch them, like, huge. And then uh, kind of do, like, a, a tank like that. And maybe I'll have a few fish in it, but if I do put fish in it, I'm going to put small fish in it so they don't eat all the scuds. I want to save some and, and then be able to try to maybe harvest them somehow to randomly feed them to some of my other fish or just drop them in tanks as we go but yeah interesting interesting uh, uh topic there leaf litter in aquariums and uh, i haven't done a whole lot with it obviously other than outside in my ponds because my ponds are covered in leaf litter in the bottom but i, I want to do i want to do a tank inside and, and get that visual you know dark water probably all that good stuff john mckenzie What's up, brother? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Good. Doing dad things. Yes. Doing dad things. Yep. I try to I try to be I wanna be the dad that's there for everything. I don't want to be missing out on stuff, so Yep. Having kids, be involved. John Williams, a big Texas. Hello to everyone. Well, hello, John Williams. Big Texas. Hey, hello, buddy. How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for coming by. Is your first time here? I don't remember. I don't remember seeing. I should. I should watch myself saying this though, saying that I don't remember seeing you guys here before because I could insult somebody that's been here before. But I try to stay pretty tight wrap on my people that come in my streams, and I'm not some big channel with these big <sighs> inflated numbers. I got what 3,800 subscribers. I've been streaming for three years straight, so you know I only got 27 people here. I ain't bring, bringing the world down to its knees or anything. I'm just doing my thing. And uh, I appreciate you guys that come back week after week. And I appreciate you new people for coming by. And I appreciate YouTube for doing stuff for my channel and sending these new people over. So, it's pretty cool. 
Vinoxky, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, Skippers. Good to see you, Vinoxky's link. Caleb is new. I was right on that one. Nice. Welcome, Caleb. I hope you caught my whole spiel. Basically, I'm a longtime fish keeper who, after many years of keeping fish, realized that I enjoyed keeping North American native fish in my cold basement because it works good with my fishing hobby. There you go. And I like doing planted tanks. All these tanks are live plants. These are all live planted aquariums. All the algae, everything is alive. You won't see nothing plastic, no plastic plants in this fish room. Nothing against you guys, the plastic plants. You just don't see them here. You don't see the pink gravel or the purple gravel. It's all earth tones. Everything's natural. All the woods are pretty much collected by me. All the, uh, you know, substrates are pretty natural the probably the most unnatural thing you'll see in my fish room is the black diamond blasting sand but it looks like a black sand and at this point all my tanks at least have some lightness to them there's no solid black tanks so yeah i don't i don't try to do biotopes i don't try to be that specific but uh, i kind of just let my tanks do their thing i don't over clean them I haven't done a water change down here in probably a month or more and when i do water changes it's very small amounts it's normally like a five gallon bucket out to clean a couple sponge filters and then i'll just top a tank off or tanks will start so you know ease down a little bit like right here and i just gotta top them off i don't don't go through much water down here i have a pretty light load on a lot of my tanks pretty much all my tanks very light load i feel don't forget to hit the like absolutely we appreciate that qc I better get caught up. Silver Creeks, what's up, Tommy? Nice to see you, brother. AI coffee, too. It is. That's why it looks like it does. It's because it's what it is. Boss Hog is finally realizing that the tilapia strips are food. Nice. Nice. Have you kept uh, any aquatic creatures that weren't fish? I've kept scuds before. I've done that. I've kept a... Uh, I kept Daphnia. I kept a culture of Daphnia for a while. A couple of times. One time I made a culture last about six months. I thought I had it down, and then it crashed. Uh, I've raised brine shrimp from, you know, uh, eggs into adulthood. Um, we have two axolotls upstairs that are my daughters. Um, yeah. And a lot of snails. And shrimp. I've kept shrimp. I don't have any shrimp at the moment, I don't think, but kept some neos in the past, stuff like that. Benjamin Peters, welcome, brother. How you doing? Do you think it would be overcrowded if I were to add one more fish to my 40-gallon? I already have a ring perch and a green sunfish. Yeah, I do. Just because I don't know what a ring perch is, but perch are pretty good size in general. And a green sunfish, like, eh, green sunfish on his own, I mean, depending on the size. But when they get bigger, I'll show you my green sunfish. He's probably a good 8 inches, and he's thick. So, I mean... A green sunfish in itself could out could be overstocked for a 40 breeder, but I would probably say yeah. Graham sent us and said to tell you he's a nice guy. Well, he is a nice guy. He don't even you guys don't even have to say that for me to know that. But thank you, Graham. Appreciate you, Zen Ginger. Thank you, everybody that came over from Aquarium Adventure stream. The dude's awesome. Go check him out. He streams before us. In case you didn't, in case you didn't know it. Now you know it. Big Steve, what's up, brother? Yeah, the greenie will outgrow the 40, absolutely. Um, do, 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 do. do you think on breeding any North American native fish? I don't. Nope, I don't. Freya Robbins, welcome. I didn't see you. Oh, here you go. Graham sent us. Thank you for coming over, Freya. Appreciate that. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. Graham's awesome. I wish I had... I wish I had a better time to go um, to go over to his stream because his stream is right before mine, which sounds convenient, but then I'm trying to do all these other things leading up to my stream, and it just doesn't allow me the time to be there as I'd like. But I do enjoy his streams, especially his little uh, quizzes and stuff. Those are cool. Uh, Coral says, as a reformed guppy line breeder, live breeders don't count, or live bears don't count. Okay, because they pretty much breed themselves. That's the deal. Basically, live, live bears pretty much breathe themselves. <laughs> oh, White Cloud Dynasty, what is up, brother? How are you doing? 
the man with the most fabulous white clouds and shiners around rainbow shiner genius love the new background thank you i mean i've tried I'm, i put i got a new camera and i'm trying to figure it out so it seems like the old camera everything was a lot brighter and you could see better like the tanks in the back this camera wants to just focus on me and i don't have maybe enough lighting i don't know i'm working on the deal but uh yeah it's different thank you for noticing glad you enjoy it i'm trying to i figured i'm i'm streaming a lot you know i do it every week for hour a week i put a, there's a lot of streams a lot of my content on my channel is my live streams and i figure if i'm gonna do this i might as well try to keep making it better as we go so that i finally you know come out with better and better quality content i guess so microphones next that's the next i think well maybe probably uh, obs so and then the microphone white cloud dynasties lean guys make sure you go over there and check them out you will be amazed at the fish this fella breeds QC's asking Blong, are you going tomorrow? I can't make it, darn it. Speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow I am going to the Southwest Michigan Aquarium Society Spring Auction. So stay tuned for a video for that. Uh, I was gonna do that. What is it? We're gonna we're gonna head out at 9:30 in the morning. Uh, it's about an hour away, up in, up close to Kalamazoo, Michigan, and uh, get in there, get registered, and buy some. Buy some plants. We ain't buying no fish. I told my daughter we ain't buying nothing. Fish, nothing. Plants, only plants. And then we booking it back. And then we're going to be booking it down to Fort Wayne to go to Hibachi for my daughter's birthday. Uh, I got a 13-year-old coming Sunday. So <laughs> she's growing up fast. But, uh, yeah, definitely pay attention for that video. That's going to be coming out. And I'm going to be – what I'm going to do with the plants is I'm going to be setting up – this 40 breeder from down here, I'm going to move it over here where you can't see. But then I'm also going to sprinkle them in along, you know, amongst some of the other tanks. So, going to do the thing. My fish tanks, Quadix, what's up, buddy? Hello, fishy folks. How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing good. Peplin Creek Aquatics, what's up, Brian? Good seeing you, my friend. There's my fish tanks, Aquatics, guys. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. Peplin, do the same. These are all good people. Everybody here is good people. I get, I get no bad people. So, it's a good... You want to come hang out at a chill place? Talk some fish? Don't even got to talk fish. We talk whatever you want. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Don't forget to hit the like. <sighs> Get some Elisoma for the Scuds tank. I could do that. I could do that. It def like, I definitely would want something native, obviously. But I'd want something small that wasn't going to be able to eat the, you know, the bigger Scuds. That would work. That would work. I couldn't catch any. I'd have to go buy some. Now, when we're talking fish I could catch, I could maybe go catch some native killifish. That might be cool. And maybe they would eat some of the smaller ones and be happy in there, too, and probably like dark water, but we'll see. Do you think it would be overcrowded if I were to add one more fish to my 40-gallon? Yes. Yep. Sorry I didn't catch that fast enough. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm still nine minutes behind. When are you going to make the plywood tank? Um, a couple years down the road, probably. Do it for harvesting scuds. I like to keep those little dish scrubbies on a fishing line. Put some split shot in it to weigh it down and the line to pull it out of the tank. Oh, okay, nice. So they get inside of it. Nice. Plus, I have a bluegill pair, and they have got a great appetite, but cost me a bunch. Nice. You got some nice natives in. That's cool. I like hearing about people keeping native fish. Scuds and copiapods, etc. Climb around in the dish. Then you just shake it in the tank for feeding. Nice. Salient Aquatics. What's up, brother? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. There's a link, guys. Make sure you check them out. 27 kick-ass people. That's right. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you for sending them all over here, Graham. You the man. Does my, does my video look any better this week? I try to make it brighter. I don't know. I'm working on it. But appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for sending people over here. Oh, I mentioned the Gulf Coast Water Dog Mud Puppy. Nice. Yes. Those are cool. Those are very cool. QC's link, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. Aquarium Adventures. Go over there and subscribe. Not that he needs any more subscribers. Mr. 30-some thousand subscribers. <laughs> Congratulations, though, man. 
Go over there and give him, give him a subscription if you ain't. Give him a thumbs up. Watch some of his videos. Support each other, guys. That's what we're doing here. I can't have live plants even though I have shiners and I have a dirt and gravel mix. But the chubs, I have to uh, tear them up. Nice. Okay. Piggies are squealing. Aquatic okay. nest in the house. Oh, I can't. Oh, the logo is in your face. What's up? Are you headed out? I am. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit and then yeah, we'll do I'll the be thing. Back. I gotta go drop her off. Okay. She's got to go take the. Uh, what does she play? Clarinet. Clarinet. She's got to take the clarinet player up there to the high school. <laughs> Three years later. What is it? Yeah. What is it? I bought two it's of them so like far. A, clarinet. It's just for like students. She's, it's not actually a concert. It's, it's like she's backing up the high school kids or something because like, she's a seventh grader. Like to like let her see what it will be like if she goes to yeah. like a high school. Okay. So it's like a competition. It's like a shadowing performance or something, so they kind of can get a yeah, gist of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Roscoe will literally have a giant chunk of tilapia in his mouth and go after Boss Hog's piece. <laughs> yeah. See? I love that Roscoe. Roscoe's my guy. I put my bets on Roscoe. I like his name better, too. <laughs> what about, uh, when you, in, in question for QC, when you, when you're talking about Roscoe P. Coltrane and Boss Hog, it got me thinking about, um, what was that one guy? Was there a big, big Enos? Big Enos? Remember, you know what I'm talking about? Big anus. <laughs> Brandon actually grows flax to make linen filter media from scratch. He's so nasty. <laughs> what? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> My shrimp love leaf litter, but I'm not big on stained water. Uh, I soak the leaves overnight and pour out the stained water before putting the leaves in the tank. Just what I do. Yeah, there you go. I get it, man. I might not like it either. I don't know. I haven't had a dark water tank yet, so we'll see. We will definitely see. Crayfish. Crayfish would be cool. They would probably eat the scuds, though, right? Maybe not. Man, they would just, they definitely would probably keep the leaf litter and all that shit moving around real good. Craig's Catfish Cave. Good morning. How are you? Uh, QC said, my brother caught and brought home a buried crawdad when we were young when these. When those babies hatched, you couldn't see anything in the tank. That's crazy. Wow. Craig's link, guys. Check them out. Make sure you're subscribed. I love the uh, spawn of my long ears. They're just not cooperating. I would love for you to spawn them, too. That would be awesome. Yep, 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 yep. I'm trying to... Max Kelly Fish Keeper, what's up with you, buddy? How you doing? Lurking and working. All right. There's his link, guys. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you're subscribed. Kayak and Kathy, what's up, y'all? That's my mom. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Love you. Tell Grandma I said I love her, too. <laughs> Did my last load at 4 a.m. We need the bed. needed the beds. There you go. Come spend money in Michigan. I am. I am, man. I definitely am. I'll probably spend, I'll probably spend $100. I usually, like, when I go to a a swap meter and auction i usually get I, I usually bring about 200 bucks because i want to make sure i'm well covered but i usually spend about a hundred so that's probably i'm probably gonna spend about a hundred maybe a little more <laughs> uh, yes 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 man what, what my nose is tickling me looks good last week looks good this week too all right video looks better but it's missing those lovely ladies in your house i know i know there's Cletus. <laughs> Smokey and the Bandit. Nice. Was that what was that what was that what uh Big Enos was from, Smokey and the Bandit? Okay. Is that the one where he said <laughs> What does he say? I'm gonna smack you so hard your mama's gonna feel it or some shit. <laughs> I gotta watch that. That was funny. Uh, I have some plans to make a rainbow shiner tank. And are they good pets plus getting a 66-gallon tank? If you're asking me if Rainbow Shiners are good pets, heck yes, they are. Heck yes. Natty, like natural, not nasty. Oh, okay. Natty, yes. Very natty. <laughs> what do you normally feed your fish? Uh, I feed the majority of my fish uh, fro frozen shrimp. 
not, obviously not frozen, I thought, but raw shrimp, frozen raw shrimp, uh, fi- like my sunfish, my pickerel, my bowfin, my catfish. Uh, I've also been getting more and more of my fish to eat this stuff, which is really convenient. Ken's Premium Krill Pellet 6 millimeter. Look at the size of those puppies. So, trying to get more of my fish on the pellets. So we're working on it. I think I'm gonna try soaking some here coming up. Give that a, give that another one. Duke's a hazard. Oh shit! Like the shitty bear, like the shitty beer, <laughs> natty. Uh, all right, love you. Bye. See you in a little bit. Um, nat- natty wasn't terrible. What was that one shit that was real bad? Milwaukee's best. Whew. That's when you're down and out. You know what I mean? Got to scrounge up enough to get a 20 pack. <laughs> Cooter. Cooter, yeah. Uh, Empire of Dirt Aquatics, what's up? Hello, everyone listening on the drive home. Well, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Drive safe there, fella. And uh, hope you get to your destination on time. Thanks for the support. There's the link for Empires of Dirt Aquatics. And if you click that link, you can go over there and subscribe to their channel. Make it really, uh, you know, really nice for them. Very cool. Sorry, you're, um, that's okay, Paul. You don't got to be sorry to be late. We thank you, man. Appreciate you for coming by. Thank you for your continued support. So how many fish do you think you'll actually come home with? None. <laughs> I'm serious, none. That was a pain the last time we came home with two axolotls and had to set up two tanks. And I don't want to do it, but I did it because my daughter had been wanting one forever. So, yeah. I feel like I'm going to not come home with any fish do you feed any veg no nope but my plant my fish do eat my plants some of them do like the green sunfish i've seen him eat plants and the, the pumpkin seed sunfish he likes i don't know if he likes eating them or if he just likes just killing them two more likes to 30 nice you should get a frag tank i thought about getting a i thought about doing a cold water uh a marine aquarium i thought about that is that what you're talking about Frag tank is good for catfish and bottom feeders because it's wide and long. Oh, one of those. I got you. Like a, I know what you're saying, a big, long, wide, shallow tank. Yeah. I I don't really, I like bigger tanks. I just want a bigger tank. I always want a bigger tank. So my next tank is going to be like 200 gallons plus, hopefully. That's my, that's my goal, to make my next tank a bigger tank. I feel like. I feel like I, I could get maybe like an 8-foot, 240-gallon acrylic tank down here. I think that's what my next goal would be. Maybe I find someone who's hard up <laughs> and get it at a good price. Uh, oysters. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I just realized I was one that hadn't hit the like. <gasps> Zen. I'll be in my corner of shame if anyone needs me. <laughs> I picked up an axolotl yesterday. Nice. What kind did you get? We have a uh, we have a wild type one, which is like black and kind of speckly. And then we have a, a little white one, like whitey pinky one. <laughs> uh, what about like a bookshelf tank for the scuds that could be really fun to observe is a bookshelf tank those sh- um, wide but kind of shallow and tall tanks because i have one of those it's a 15 gallon it's pretty neat can i yank zen's wrench i don't know if you can yank anyone's wrench can you do you have the right do, i mean do you have the control because if you do hmm no i don't know i mean no no that's we're just we're just having a good time, but no yanking of wrenches. What would you put in a 240? Probably would move, maybe move Mr. Bojangles in a 240. Or maybe a bass. I thought about doing a bass. Large mouth, probably. Large mouth or small mouth, I don't know. I'd like to, I'd like to have one of those uh, <clears throat> Kusa basses, Kusa bass from down south. But uh, obviously, it'd be a challenge to get one. Pile Aquatics, welcome. Skeddy Nana, welcome. If I didn't say it, appreciate y'all for being here. Bookshelves are long. 
narrow and shallow typically. Oh, okay. So not the shallow part. Hmm. Golden albino axolotl. Pretty. Portrait show tanks are tall and narrow. Okay, that's what I got then. I got a 15 gallon. It's like, it looks as wide as a 20 almost, but it's only four or five inches deep and it's about as tall as a 20. It looks kind of like a 20 from the front, but it's like half as half as deep. You're not getting my notifications. That doesn't surprise me. YouTube tries. They're just a little late. More than that. Trout would be cool. Trout would be a lot of work. That would definitely be a lot of work. It would be cool. Brook trout. Little brookies. That would be cool. But it would be a lot of work too. Anyone see the leucistic walleye caught recently? No, but I seen... Are, are they gold? Is it are they leucistic or leucistic when they're gold? Because I seen a gold bowfin that somebody shot bow fishing. I've seen a, a gold crappie too. Yeah, yeah. I think I think YouTube notifications have always been a little sketchy. That's for sure. All right, let's bring another camera up because we got. Not a lot of time. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. So we better get another camera up here and get this old shrimp a rolling. Watch Bo Cephas and uh, the Water Wolf and uh, Mr. Bojangles burn it down. Okay. No. Wait a minute. I just brought him another camera of myself. <laughs> okay. Um confusion hang on settings um i'm not st stop mic and cam hmm okay let me uh let me try switching this hopefully i don't lose you guys right here what happened nothing okay We add, we add this. this. We gotta mute it. There we go. Can you still hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. Okay. Mm hmm. There we go. Something like so. We're looking at the sky. Okay, we'll do a little walk around real quick for y'all. For y'all that ain't been around for too long, ain't seen the fish room before, we'll do a little walk around. Uh, have you kept tadpole mad toms? I have not. No, my, my wife uh, kept a, uh, a bullfrog, a green bullfrog. Hey, my notifications aren't working. Shaking my head. You ain't the first one to say that. Dang it. Well, hey, you're here. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a walk around. I'll try to speak up so you can hear me. So first tank here, yellow bullhead. We gotta pull this out here that I can there we go. Yellow bullhead and three of these guys in here. They have little they have little snappity. They get big, they eat pellets. They like the pellets. Okay, and over here, metal frame tank. There's a, there's a mud minnow right there, central mud minnow. There's a white sucker right there. And there's some other fish in here. There's a, oh, there's a little darter, a little rainbow darter. And uh, some eastern mosquito fish. There's also, oh, right there he is. Dollar sunfish, a little dollar sunfish in there. He's pretty too. He's hiding. Okay, over here we got red, red eared sunfish, and this here is a big old water wolf. Big old water wolf. He's hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. And over here we got a pumpkin seed sunfish. He's hungry too. I do that when they're hungry. And uh, two common shiners and a yellow perch. Oh, 
There's Mr. Bojangles. He's our bowfin. And that's pumpkin head, but another pumpkin seed sunfish. And then we got some uh, white cloud mountain minnows and uh, rice fish, Madaka rice fish. And then these are my Gadeids, Mazina tokas, and right here, Mr. Bocephus, and then my wonderful, wonderful rainbow shiners. Woo, look at him. Look at this one. Jeez Louise, look at that one. Look at that. Can you see that one? Shiny. It's white. It's almost like white. Insane. Oh god. Insane. Is that like huh? Is that like no, it's like platinum. He's just on fire. He is on fire. Alright. Yellow bullhead. What kind of bullhead? Yellow bullhead. Uh oh that water wolf is so cute. Yes. What size tank is that? The water wolf? The water wolf is a six foot 125. What plants do you keep? <sighs> I keep a lot of Hygrophilia coriamboza. That's in a lot of my tanks. Uh, I keep some Valcineria, Dwarf Sage. Uh, this plant has some of my new uh, uh, sword plants there that I got. They're like, uh, what are they? Bring me that thing over here with that plastic thing with all the bags in it. I can't remember right now. But I'd say majority of my plants are Hygrophilia coriamboza, Rotala rotundifolia, Dwarf Sage, Valcinaria, Crips. Oh, yeah. Um, something sword. No, it started with a B. B? Yeah. She'll find it. But yeah, that's about the majority of plants I keep. Oh, is this it? Yeah, Har Harbic. Harbic swords. That's what these swords are here in this tank. Which one? Those are awesome. Thank you. Mike from Imperial Tropicals caught a golden gar and he that he bred and raised fry, but so far no, no golden babies. Oh, man. That's cool, though, that he caught it and got it to breed. I have margin man toms. Yep. Yes, you do. Uh, Chevy Fish, what's up? Nice to see you. Opalescent Shiner. Very nice. There's Chevy Fish's link. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go feed some fish now. What do you guys want? We'll, we'll just, uh, we probably will not got a lot of time. We'll go feed around the big ones first. Get my tongs. Get Bocephus first here. Get him over here. Come get it, brother. Oh, there you go. You got a big old mouth on him. Uh, let's see. We get uh, Mr. Bojangles and Pumpkinhead. Some shrimp over it, brother. Okay, give him a second. He'll come out. He'll come out. He's probably got. You got to sniff it. There he goes. You got to sniff it, or he'll, or Pumpkinhead will try taking a swipe at it. Oh yeah, Red's hungry. Oh, Pumpkinhead's hungry too. Watch out! Watch out! Ooh. There you go. <laughs> There's Mr. Bojangles, our bowfin. He snatched it. Oh, Pumpkinhead thought he was getting it, but he snatched it. Luckily, Mr. Bojangles is small. Mr. Jangles, uh, Bojangles gets bigger. A situation like that might not end so nice for Mr. Pumpkinhead. <laughs> okay. Let's 
feed these jokers. Oh, I knocked camera over. See, you got three in a row. There's one you can't get. He obviously you can't even one more. Okay. Perch, perch. Oh yeah. Okay. Water wolf, you looking hungry? Let me try. It's complicated. Here we go. Oh, damn, look at that. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's hanging out your mouth, brother. It's hanging out your mouth. He's like, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> oh, good stuff. That's a fun fish. Get some bullhead. You gonna get that piece on the floor? It's on the bottom. Got it. He got it. Oh, we're being reckless. Make it rain. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, he did. He punked him good, man. <laughs> are good. Are bullhead good pets? If so, when are they out and about? Uh, should when they're on about? Should I guess them? I think they are. They do really good on their own. I caught mine uh, in the spring when they were really small, and uh, yeah, give them a little decent sized tank. They're really cool, fun fish keep a few of them together they stay moving all the time they have a lot of personality they're easy to pellet train so yeah um i definitely like there's a few fish in my fish room i wouldn't recommend bullhead or not one of them bullhead or a fish in my fish room that i definitely would recommend sorry yeah i know i need to get a i need to get like a lapel mic for when i'm uh you know not here in front of the microphone i'm working on it jeez I didn't see you, and I stayed for our last library meeting at the swap. Ah, uh huh. All right. Uh, let's close. Let's close with the shiners. That's a good one. You want to feed them? Oh yeah, hold on. Okay, come on over. Come on over. Oh, you got you got Piggy. You got Judy. Little Gainers. You gonna sprinkle some in there? Yeah. Are we ready to go? Right. Do we need to head out? Okay. That time. time has come. The time has come, folks. Thirty-four people time. watching. Thank you guys all for stopping 34. by. Thirty-four. Oh, 34. Yeah, thirty-four. I don't know. Uh, Hagen Hill Design. Ah, that's a cute guinea pig. Yeah, thank you. We got two of them. Sonny and Judy. 
Bob in 45 minutes. Nice. All right. You can the, see the, that with your fancy camera. The kid's going to uh, feed the shiners. Yeah. We're down. We're shrunken down here on the screen. We're in small mode. She's going to drop drop some shrimp, in, uh, some shrimp and some uh, brine in there. Yeah, there you go. Put it in there and do like this. Do a little shake on it. Yeah, blood worms and brine shrimp. Yep. Those two frozen things. Yep, yep. Here she goes. <laughs> yeah, there they are. That one, it's hard to see. I don't know if it's hard to see here. He is almost white. He is insane how colored up they were. They're not They're not actually as colored up as much as they were a couple no, of days ago. Like it's orangey down here on your screen, but you're orangey like on the Am phone. I? Mm -hmm. Really? But like right here, you don't look so orangey. Look at that one right there. See that one? I'm not talking about your face. I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> um... I could adjust my, uh, but there's the, oh, no, I could adjust my, uh, color thing. Do I look orangey? I probably do. I thought, like I, the, I made some adjustments. Like all them girls that put on the fake <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like the spray on stuff. <laughs> huh? All right, we good? All right, we good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's uh, this week's show. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with us here. We got things to do, family stuff. Appreciate you all. Hope you have a wonderful, happy, safe weekend. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for coming back. Hit the like. Beep, beep. What's up, car? Subscribe. All that good stuff. Appreciate you all. We'll see you next Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, hey, I've been getting lots of vitamin C. And then uh, us also, we're going to be... We're going to be going on a trip tomorrow, going to the Southwest Michigan Aquarium Society auction. So stay tuned for a video for that. But until then, guys, Bye, peace out. Appreciate y'all. Have a good weekend, y'all.